Hi everyone, Mike here with Robart and Zap Adhesives, and today I'm going to show you a quick way that you can mount your control box. So I'm going to show you a quick way to mount your control box. So you've got your control box. The next thing you're going to need is a, a small square of balsa, two other small pieces of balsa, some Zap CA, an exacto knife for cutting the balsa, a thin piece of the Zap silicone tape. So I just took the, I took a full piece of silicone tape and then I just cut it in half. And a foam pad. These have a, these are our foam pads. They do have a sticky on the back of them that you can peel off. Okay. So let's go ahead and build us a, a control box mounting pad. So first off, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and mark with my knife my balsa. Get the control box out of the way and then finish the cut. And I'm not making this super precise. Depending on how precise you want to get with it, you go. You can do that. I'm just showing you for demonstration purposes. Okay, so I've got my base. Now I'm going to cut a couple of small pieces underneath. Mark that. Just use that as a marker for the other side. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is flip this over. I guess I could have done it the other way too. I guess it really doesn't matter. Hold that. And I'm going to run my thin. I'll get back in the camera. Sorry for that. Run my thin. Right down the edge. Get my second. And what these basically are are risers. And what my goal of having the little risers are so that my silicone tape can run underneath. So now I've got my my base for the control pad. Or the control box, sorry. Okay. Now I want to take a foam mounting pad and I'm going to put that on top of my the the base that I just made. And what that's going to do is that's going to handle the vibration. So when you're flying and the plane is shaking, okay, this is not going to damage any of the circuitry or your wires, it'll help your wires stay in. All right, now I'm going to take the silicone tape that you, we cut half and half lengthwise, and we're going to run this under, back around, and then pull it tight. Clean up any extra. All right, and now Give it a little massage to get the tape to catch. Cut off the excess. And we now have your mounting for your control box. Your, I, I did get over the edge on that a little bit there. So... You have the ability to plug in all three. You will have your delays set. You would have your type A and B set since you're covering that up. Or you have your delays in your on this one. So you want to go ahead and get all of your setup done. And then this would be your, your, your mounting. And if you ever need to remove the box, okay, then you can easily just cut the silicone tape and you can 
you get, you've got your box to be able to remove and you can glue this your riser into the plane so if you got any further questions on any of the robart or zap products give us a call at 630-584-7616 check us out online at www.robart.com or follow us on facebook youtube instagram and pinterest have a wonderful day